Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to introduce you to the Approvals app in Microsoft Teams. Uh, in case you, ha you, you have not noticed that uh, there is actually a, a new app that we have uh, in uh, Microsoft Teams called Approvals app. And essentially what it allows you to do, it allows you to uh, submit um, you know, documents, submit requests uh, for approval. It also allows you to receive uh, approval requests if they were sent to you and you know, either approve or reject uh, or forward uh, you know, those requests, uh, reassign them to, to someone else. Uh, let me show you uh, what uh, I'm talking about first. So the approvals app is actually uh, a, um, you know, the personal app, all right? It's not a, an app that you would get uh, on a given, uh, you know, team, given channel, all right? You're not going to find an approvals app here. It's a personal app because essentially it just, you know, brings together all the different, uh, you know, workflows, all the different uh, sorts of approvals in one place. So click three dots and you would see the, well, I recently exited, so that's why I see it. But if you don't see it, just, uh, you know, just type it in. You're going to see it now, uh, the approvals app. And by the way, uh, you might want to pin it uh, all right, to your sidebar so you don't lose it uh, in the future. Uh, and here it is, uh, relatively simple. Um, you know, essentially, it's a kind of a, almost like a dashboard. Uh, so uh, by default, it shows you all the requests, approval requests, and their statuses and who uh, they were sent by, um, essentially, all right, uh, in that little dashboard under received. All right, and you can kind of view the progress and, you know, and, uh, you know, approve it right from here. Uh, all right, and then under send, uh, this would be the request that you sent to others. All right, that you sent to others. Uh, all right, and uh, again, it shows the statuses of all these requests, whether people approve them or reject it, et cetera. Uh, now, <clears throat> another cool thing, uh, so first of all, if you have, all these different uh, workflows, right? Maybe your IT has developed, uh, or maybe your department has developed some approval workflows, and you are part, you know, of that workflow. You are, you, you are probably, let's say, the approver. You would get those notifications, you know, typically by email as well as in here. All right, you would uh, get the uh, those approval requests in the receipt under the receive tab, and you would be able to uh, essentially approve or reject. Uh, you know, right from within the, um, you know, the screen. Uh, but what if um, I need to submit a new request, all right? Um, you know, in the upper right -hand corner, let's say uh, here's a use case. I have a document, a budget document. I need uh, Mary, my colleague, to approve it, all right? I need a formal approval by Mary, uh, you know, before we make it available to others. So then in the upper right -hand corner, you can click on new approval request, all right? and uh, you just, you know, there are different types of, you know, uh, approvals. We're not doing any digital, you know, e-sign digital signature. So let's do the basic one and let's just call it budget approval. All right. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, this is, these are the names for, of approvers. And you can, uh, by the way, uh, list uh, multiple names. And, uh, you know, in case if you have multiple approvers, uh, you know, it's by default, it's the first to approve, but if you enable this toggle, you know, a switch, then, um, you know, it will wait uh, till everyone on the list approves. Priority, you know, this is just to be highlighted, right, uh, on the user screen, that is, it's a really important <laughs> approval request. And then you can say, you know, a personal message, uh, you know, Mary, please approve uh, before we submit, all right? Just like that, perfect. Uh, now, this is where you actually attach a document, uh, all right, your budget document, so you can upload it from your computer. Let me get a document from my OneDrive. Uh, let's just see if I have any, um, you know, if I have any, um, you know, budget documents here. Uh, all right, let's pretend uh, this is uh, my budget document right here. Perfect. So it's adding a link within the request. Uh, and by default, it will do something like approve, reject. If you want to customize, you can actually supply custom responses, yes, no, etc. Let's not worry about it for this one. And that's it, click send, all right? You just click send. And essentially what will happen now, a few things will occur. So first of all, uh, you will 
uh, under the send tab, right? It's a list of all the approvals you sent. You see here it is. Here is our budget approval, and it shows it's been requested, sent by me, sent to Mary. All right, and you can always click on it and kind of see the status. All right, and by the way, if you no longer need approval, an approval, you can cancel it. All right, and this is our important designation, by the way. All right, so Mary knows it's very serious. All right, so uh, now let me show you the experience from the uh, user standpoint who will receive an approval request. So I'm going to go to my second screen. All right, and I'm going to let me just refresh my uh, screen over here. So I'm logged in as Mary, by the way, on this one. And, um, you know, Mary also has an approvals, obviously, application added. Uh, but look at this. On the received tab, Mary now gets to see my request. It's important. Uh, it's sent by me. She can open it. And obviously, she can click on the document. She can view the document now. And uh, she will see my request. And uh, Mary can supply, um, you know, her comments. And obviously, approve or reject. And this would be, by the way, the custom actions. Remember those, uh, the toggle switch for the custom actions. So you could actually add your own custom choices here. But by default, it's either approve or reject. Or Mary can reassign it to someone else. Maybe you know she is going to be away. She, she needs someone else to take a look. She can actually forward this request to someone else. But in our case, let's just go ahead uh, and approve it. So again, comments, approve. And it will now register, you know, essentially, uh, I believe I need to, yeah, I don't even need to refresh the screen. Here we go, it's been approved. And when I go to uh, my uh, own screen, again, I uh, probably just need to refresh. Uh, and it will show me now that this document has been, uh, you know, approved, all right? And now, uh, yeah, uh, right here on the send tab, all right? Uh, now, uh, essentially, what this is, one thing, one, one other thing I want to mention, essentially what you're looking at here is the, uh, you know, the, uh, essentially the Power Automate portion, right? Or because all the workflows are managed in Power Automate. So what you're looking uh, at here is the same screen you get to see in Power Automate. Uh, let me just uh, prove the point. So let me... Uh, I think I might need to open uh, the, uh, yeah, let me just open SharePoint. It's going to be easier. And then uh, just click on Power Automate. Power Automate, of course, is the tool that you, uh, you know, you use to build the workflows in the first place. But if you go under the approval tab, look at this. Essentially, this is what you get to see, right? This is essentially uh, what you get to see in the Teams application. So essentially, obviously, there is a little bit more uh, in terms of, uh, you know, obviously a lot more in terms of, you know, functionalities and different connectors and some advanced stuff you can do with your Power Automate workflows. But, you know, for the ease of use, because everyone is in Teams these days, uh, what Microsoft did, they essentially brought this, you know, those tabs uh, from Power Automate into Microsoft Teams. So you can easily track Essentially, it becomes almost like a single hub, right, for all those approval requests uh, that, uh, you know, you sent or received, right? So that's all I really wanted to show you in this particular video. Uh, hopefully, you found it, uh, you know, valuable and informative. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Uh, and thank you very much, and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.